ever wondered why the Zoloitzquintli, or Zolo for short, never made it to the top of the most huggable dogs list? Could it be their distinct lack of fluff, or perhaps their job description in the afterlife? Well, meet the Zolo, a unique breed with an equally unique history. With its sleek, hairless coat and a resume that includes guiding souls in the afterlife, you'd think they would be more popular. Let's dive into the history of these unique dogs to figure out why they might be the most interesting breed you've never heard of. But before we do, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and share with your friends. It's absolutely free to do so. And for a limited time only, every new subscriber will get a doggo somewhere. 75% extra belly rubs and kibble, I'll make sure of it. Now let's get into it, shall we? Remember when Bald was bold? Well, the Zolo's been rocking that look since 3500 BC. Now let's take a step back in time, all the way to Mexico, where the Zolo, also known as the Zolo Eats Quintly, first strutted its stuff. Here's a dog that's been hairless before it was cool, a canine trendsetter, if you will. Now, being hairless isn't just about making a fashion statement. For the Zolo, it was a matter of survival. In the sultry Mexican climate, a thick coat of fur would indeed be a heavy burden. So nature, being the excellent stylist that it is, decided that the Xolo would be better off without one. And it wasn't just the weather that loved the Xolo's chic, bald look. The Aztecs, an ancient civilization that thrived in Mexico, had a particular fondness for these hairless hounds. But it wasn't their sleek, shiny skin that caught the Aztecs' eye. No, it was something far more divine. You see, the Aztecs believed that the Zolo was the earthly representation of the god Zolotl, a deity of fire and lightning. And get this, Zolotl was often depicted as a dog-headed man. Talk about a god with a sense of style. But being a divine representative was no walk in the park. The Zolo had a serious job to do. Its purpose was not to fetch sticks or guard homes, but to guide the souls of the deceased into the afterlife. Imagine that, a dog with a day job as a spiritual guide. Beats chasing squirrels, doesn't it? So as you can see, the Zolo's hairless appearance isn't just a quirky characteristic. It's a testament to its long and fascinating history, a history that intertwines with the story of an ancient civilization and its beliefs about life, death, and the divine. So next time you see a Zolo, you're not just looking at a dog you're looking at a living, breathing, and slightly chilly piece of history. If you thought your dog had a god complex, wait until you hear about the Zolo's heavenly connections. Now, most dogs are content with their day jobs of fetching balls and chasing their tails. But the Zoloitzkintli, or Zolo for short, had a rather more celestial calling. You see, the Zolo was the earthly representation of the Aztec god Zolotl. And who was Zolotl, you ask? Well, he was none other than the god of fire and lightning, often depicted as a dog-headed man. Quite the illustrious lineage for our hairless hound, wouldn't you say? But the responsibilities of the Zolo didn't end there. No, it wasn't just lounging around on a cloud, barking at passing comets. The Zolo had a very serious job. It was tasked with guiding souls into the afterlife. Yes, you heard that right. This dog was the original spiritual guide dog, long before the invention of high-vis jackets and harnesses. Imagine that for a moment, your beloved pet, not just your best friend, but your guide to the afterlife. It's a bit like having a fluffy, or in this case, not so fluffy, guardian angel right in your living room. Only this one has a fondness for chew toys and belly rubs. Of course, one can't help but wonder what this job interview might have looked like. So, Mr. Zolo, do you have any previous experience in soul guiding, familiar with the route to the afterlife, comfortable working nights? Now, I'm not suggesting you start treating your pet poodle as a divine being. Although, let's face it, most of them already act like they are. But it does make you appreciate our four-legged friends a little more, doesn't it? Especially the Zolo, a breed that not only carries a rich history but also a divine purpose. So not only are Zolos hairless history hounds, but they're also divine doggy chaperones to the afterlife. Talk about a breed with depth. To summarize the Zoloitz Quintly, the hairless, historical and heavenly hound, now if you were taking notes you'd know that this is not just your average Fido. Nay, this is a dog with a resume that could put most humans to shame. First off, it's a breed that's been around since the time of the Aztecs. That's right, 
While your poodle was still a twinkle in evolution's eye, the Zolo was rubbing shoulders with emperors and gods. And speaking of gods, let's not forget that the Zolo was the earthly representation of the god Zolotl. Talk about a divine gig. Now, onto its hairless trait or lack thereof. You might think, a hairless dog, that's just plain weird. But let me tell you, it's a blessing in disguise. While other dog owners are constantly vacuuming and lint rolling, the Zolo owner is living a carefree, fur-free life. And let's not forget its job description. This wasn't a breed that was just lounging around fetching sticks. No siree, this was a dog with a purpose. And that purpose was to guide souls in the afterlife. Now that's a job with some serious responsibilities. So, the next time someone asks you about your favourite dog breed, why not throw them a curveball and say, the Zoloid's Quintly, of course. Who doesn't love a hairless historical hound with a side gig in the afterlife? Still here? Great. If you'd like to make your doggo a star and would like them to appear in future uploads, please email me at all 4 at gmail.com with a picture or clip of your doggo with you pooch's name. I'd love to make an intro featuring our subscribers' doggos. Until then, stay poor some cheerio.